What is up guys, 247 here. Welcome to uh, another video uh, showing you guys what I'm running. Uh, there's a couple of OS's I've been testing out and specking them out, see if I like them or not. Uh, probably doing a little review on a Pricity OS, which is Arch Base. Uh, but what I'm running right now is Ubuntu Mate. It is the newest um, LTS, uh, 1604, uh, Xenial Cirrus, I guess you say it. Uh, you can see my specs here, 64-bit. Uh, you can see the, what version of uh, kernel I have, Mate 1.12.1. Uh, uh, I got 7.6 gigs of memory. It's actually 8 gigs of RAM, but I guess it's uh, system uses part of it. Processor, Intel Core i7 2640M CPU, uh, 2.80 gigahertz, four. Um, this is a dual core, I don't know what it says four. It probably means four threads. Uh, this is an SSD, so it, Linux is super fast. Um, let's see here, you can see some of the, so it's using a, a little bit over a gig, which is not that bad. Um, like there's a gig. I mean, I got plenty, you know, enough to record a video and do some other stuff at the same time. Uh, CPU, no problem right here. It's using, you know, 20 to 40%. Um, it's using... Oops. So is, there, is that a quad core? I don't even know. Uh, but this is a ThinkPad, uh, a Lenovo ThinkPad T420S. Super awesome. Uh, only thing is the battery is not that good. I have to get a new battery. I bought it used. Of course, uh, since they don't really make these anymore, this is a model from 2011. Um, so yeah, um, as you can see from the Intel site, uh, number of cores two, four threads, 2.8 gigahertz. Uh, quarter four of 2011, the i7-2640. Uh, this does have the NVIDIA NVS4200 uh, with a gig of VRAM. Um, but I'll go in more depth on the T420S at a later date. Um, but as you can see, I've been running uh, Macbuntu, which uh, makes my desktop look like macOS. Uh, I chose this because uh, at work I use macOS because I'm a graphic designer. The company, when I started working there, they had a Mac uh, from 2010. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I love Linux. I use three operating systems, Linux, Windows 10 on uh, I have a gaming laptop. It's MSI. I use that for work and play. And then at work, I use the Mac OS. But yeah, so <laughs> I jump around throughout and not one of them does one job and the other better, you know. There's certain ones that they're catered to a certain thing. Uh, like on Linux, I can't, on this one, on this machine, you can play some games. I mean, you full-fledged other games from Steam, you can't really play just yet, but it's getting there, which is really cool uh, because I love the security of Linux and the hassle of Windows and just fuck off. Um, back to Ubuntu Mate. Uh, it's super fast. Uh, I mean, here at the top you can see my uh, NVIDIA. Um, some of the specs in here for that. Um, but I installed the drivers for that. It was pretty easy. Um, with Ubuntu Mate, you get the screen from the start, which I love you know, different languages. Um, here's, that's it. There's documentation, you can shop, you can donate, uh, go in the community, uh, chat rooms if you have questions. What I love is the software boutique, which uh, they have perfected it greatly. Um, just go to software. You can always go back to here, you just go to system. Um, administration and then software boutique right here uh, but uh, it's gonna look different for you but you know it's a different skin but um, yeah so you 
it's a curated list of software you know you can use from the start to get you going. Uh, there's different categories: accessories, education, games, graphics, internet, office, programming, sound. We got system tools, universal access, uh, just like assisted assisted access, uh, server stuff, more software fixes. Um, accessories is and just go scroll up through it. G you know, G parted. I installed that because I just in case I ever need it. You get key pass. Variety is really good if you're uh, into getting new wallpapers, things like that. Bear crypt. You can encrypt your app, uh, your drives. Educational. G compress. So what that is. Some of these I don't really know. Solarium, which is planetarium uh, program, Tux Paint, LibreOffice Math. There's a couple of games in here. Never really looked into any of the games, which is I should. I do recognize Minecraft in there. Play on Linux if you want to play. Uh, where, do, where it is? Oh, here we go. If you want to play some Windows games on there. Steam, like I said, Steam does support some Linux games. It's reporting more and more every day. Uh, Tomb Raider most recently was the one I've heard. We got some graphics software, Blender, Dark Tables, all this good stuff. And if you guys want to check it out, you can um, boot it up yourself and uh, have at it. This is great for newcomers that they don't really know how to install, you know, any programs. Kind of helps you. Uh, get everything set up, things like that. Um, if you're a programmer, you know you know where everything's at. Um, Still a lot of stuff in here. Um, Cody, of course, Audacity. Um, so, so some system tools in here. You know, virtual box. If you're gonna be doing any VM stuff. Graph server, murmur for the mumble, uh, for mobile servers, open SSH. Here, discover more software. You can install other um, software stores, I guess, centers. Upgrade's pretty cool. Sometimes it crashes on me, though. I like that one. Software, uh, it replaced Ubuntu Software Center and the original Ubuntu, the regular, not Mate version, but the Unity version. But it's in fact GNOME software, so I installed that one. That was pretty good. A uh, piece of crap right here. You don't want that. Synaptics. Um, it's not really GUI based. It is, but it isn't. It's not very beautiful, but it gets the job done if you're just don't want to deal with uh, any of the GUI stuff. What it boils down is not that pretty, pretty much. But yeah. Um, I'll show you guys that. We'll go to the software. Here it is. Oh, I had it down here too. Here it is. Um, we go. So as you can see, it's way better than the Ubuntu Software Center. It was a piece of crap that I never liked. Now you have always installed App Grid too as well. So here is wow, so much, so many, so much, so many programs in here. You can just—it's crazy. Look at all this. God, ham radio editing. So much stuff in here. I like all this stuff. You know, like I'll give you like an editor's pick. Utilities, internet. Yeah, that's one thing I like that they replaced uh, the software center, which is a piece of crap. Let's go back. I said a whole bunch of free open source stuff. Dark table if you're a photographer. You can do a lot with this, um, you know, a lot of raw stuff in here. Two thumbs up for that. It's amazing. 
Uh, what I like in other OS's, which I don't like in some of these Ubuntu ones, is the brightness. Have they go in here, mess with the brightness here up and down. Whereas in other ones, once you click up here somewhere, there's like a drop down. It will it will be like this. So it'll be like, hey, you know, brightness up and down. Um, that's just a little stuff. Doesn't doesn't really matter much. But let me close out some of this stuff here. So it comes pre-installed with uh, LibreOffice. As you can see, you got all of these in here. Uh, does it come with everything? Everything like I don't think math is in here. Might be. I don't use the the Libre math thing. Might not be. So it's probably separate. But it does come with uh, LibreOffice Calc, which is Excel, uh, Draw. I'm not sure which one that replaces. Uh, I don't really use much of the um, Microsoft Office. I just pretty much use Word and Excel, PowerPoint. Impress was this, which is a uh, PowerPoint it's alternative. Writer, which is Word. And this is all stuff I installed. Pretty much what I'm using. Or a uh, Simple screen recorder, which I'm using right now, it's amazing, very lightweight. Uh, cheese, if you're doing, you know, like uh, webcam stuff. Overall, it's it's amazing software. You know, it, they did a great job. Uh, Wimpy and the team and everything. It's oh god, brings me back when I, I installed. It was uh, Lucid Lynx. Was I think one of the first ones I installed of Ubuntu, one of the first versions. Um, it was it was great. Uh, I don't even know how I found about Linux, but uh, it was yeah, it was great. Uh, I've been using it on and off for a few years now, and uh, I'm back to it now. I have this T420s ThinkPad that I've dedicated to, you know, switching out OSs, to kind of distro, uh, distro hopping, if you may. Um, but yeah, you can. Ubuntu Mate is probably one that I'll probably stay on for a little bit longer. But you can go in here, uh, you know, you can, you can see it detected my uh, graphics card, and I can install drivers too, which is great. And I was, I was wondering how I was gonna, I was gonna do that because I never did it before. So you can install the settings and everything. It's Quitter there. Mate tweak. Here uh, you can select different uh, kind of the layout for the panels, which is really good, cool. Uh, you can set it to look like different things. Cupertino is what I have it set right now, which Plank is installed and it brings up this right here. And then in Plank, I installed uh, Macbuntu, this, uh, this theme here. I'll put the link if you guys want to check it out. Uh, I don't know if <laughs> he has one your desktop to look like this, but I prefer it just because I'm used to it. I do like the original, just uh, how it came. Uh, it's not bad, just the green I'm not a big fan of, but, you know, different colors. I look with uh, look around for themes that I really like. Um, so I'll probably, you know, do on and off to kind of tell you guys which ones I like. But other than that, uh, God, it's such a great desktop. Um, a very snappy. I mean, look at that. God. It's even better when it has an SSD and it's super fast. So much stuff. I didn't even install the Tor browser on here. Well, yeah, guys, um, go check out Mate and whatnot. Check out Linux. Don't be afraid to install it. 
Um, but this is a great experience for me. I really like this. Uh, like I said, I've tried a Presidio OS, which I'll show you guys that in another date. But this is what I'm using for now. Uh, it's a great, great distro. Um, the team behind this, you can run it. Um, I've heard you can run it on a Pentium 3. I mean, if you can run it on that, man. There's various distros, you know, there's Raspberry Pi um, version, sorry, there's a Raspberry Pi version they can install, which I have a couple of Pis at home here that um, it's pretty interesting to install, you know, make that a server or something. But, uh, but yeah, um, go check out Ubuntu Mate, it's a great project, uh, or even just the Mate desktop environment. Um, you can download it on on anything. Um, you know, if you're running an Arch Base or Fedora, um, things like that, you can install it. I mean, sky's the limit on this. Um, but uh, but yeah, um, this has been Zoo Forty Seven. If you guys want to see more videos where I talk about Linux, uh, kind of what I do, I'm a graphic designer, things like that. Um, yeah, let me know. But uh, I will catch you guys on the flip side, and I'm um, out.